Hello all my beautiful people of the world it is the creative rush here and today we are doing our unity 5 tutorial on how to make Five Nights at Freddy's style security cameras in your own game. In our last episode obviously we played Five Nights at Freddy's and I was stressed out the entire freaking time. Animatronics are scary man. They weren't made for kids. Not for kids. No. But it did perfectly demonstrate what we're going to be doing in this episode in Unity, which is the uh, camera switching thing, you know, that kind of stuff. I will be completely honest, though. I have absolutely no idea how UI buttons work, <laughs> which is what makes the Five Nights at Freddy's camera do the whole thing where you click on the certain camera you want. But I did find another way to do it, which is with the keys, with the keyboard keys. Which, if you know how to use the UI buttons, you could probably drag and drop it, just make it buttons instead of keys, but you know what? I don't know how to do that yet, so we're just gonna go ahead and use the keys for now. I had to make this video eventually, but let's get right into it. Making Five Nights at Freddy's style get camera stuff in your own game. Let's check out our example. Alright, so if you follow the tutorial correctly, you should end up with a little something like this. So you'll have your cameras in your scene, 1, 2, 3, and 4. I'm set at 4 right now. And whenever you click on the key, one, two, three, four, it'll set, switch your camera to whatever camera that's assigned to. So one would be this, two would be this, three is this, and four is this. Our script allows you to very easily add more cameras however you want, but we just added four for this scene because it's a lot of work, okay? But yeah, you have all the buttons, one, two, three, and four, and then we have Robot Kyle there, of course, because Robot Kyle has to be in everything. Gosh, Robot Kyle, get a life. Alright, so after you have Unity open, you're going to want to start off with a scene with only a directional light so you can actually see what you're doing. So to start off, you're going to want to create four rooms or however many you want. You can add as many rooms as you want with as many cameras, but for this we're just going to do four. So be back in a second. All right, now that we have all of our rooms done, we're gonna go ahead and make our cameras. So we have room one, two, three, and four, so we're gonna make their corresponding cameras. So you make create camera and then duplicate it three times. We're gonna name these cam one, cam two, cam three, and cam four. After you've done that, you're gonna to wanna to align them with their corresponding room. And then just for a little flair, we're gonna add Robot Kyle, because Robot Kyle just has to be in everything, doesn't he? He, he? We can't leave him out. He's just too special to us. He belongs in our hearts the same as macaroni and cheese does, because everyone just loves macaroni and cheese, now don't we? That was a completely random statement. I, I, I babble a lot, don't I? Babbling's fun, though. Babbling's a good time. There he is. All right. So now the real reason you clicked on this video is to figure out how to do the cameras. It's really, really easy, actually, and it's only one script. I'll go ahead and show you that real quick right now, and it is called Security Cameras. I don't know why I put a space in there. You don't usually put a space in scripts, but whatever. Here we go. Let's go check it out. Here we have securitycamera.js. It's a JavaScript. So here, the first thing you'll see is our variables. We have var cam1, 2, 3, and 4, and they're all set up as cameras. Down here in line six, function start, which means what's going to be at the start of the script. Cam one, it's enabled. It, well, I uh, don't know what I'm saying anymore. Cam one dot enabled equals true. That means it's enabled state, or if it's active or not, equals true, or it is active. 
webcam 2 dot enabled its enabled status is false or it is not active that goes the same for cam 3 and 4 function update which is what happens when the script's updated by you let's say pressing an input like we do in ours so function update if input get key down one this is if you press the one button and if cam one is false or is not active then cam one will be active and the rest are false this goes the same for cam two so if input get key down two and cam two is false cam two will be true and the rest will be false and the same thing is for three and four you can very easily add more cameras to this script by just taking this, copying here, pasting it around here, and then adding, let's say, cam5 to all of these. And that is really simple. So go ahead and save that, and we're going to go back into Unity. <clears throat> Right now that we're back, we're going to go ahead and drag that script into really wherever. I'm just going to put it in cam1. So for cam1, obviously we're going to have cam1. Cam2 is cam2. Then 3 and 4. And now if we go into play mode, you'll be able to see that we have all of these assigned. And it looks, well, it looks all right. We did a good job. So here we have 1, 2, 3 and four all of our five nights at freddy style cameras all set up to all the colors of the rainbow but there's one other thing i wanted to cover and that's a ui thing because you really don't know which camera is what so i've taken the liberty of creating a new texture called fnag.ui i meant to say fnaf but it says fnag didn't mean to do that but I misspelling all this stuff all right so you're gonna gonna go to create UI image <clears throat> focus in on that and you'll see this little white square in this white square you're going to want to drag your UI image also this has to be set to texture type sprite 2d and UI so you're going to drag that into source image then you're going to click preserve aspect and then drag that into the corner I'm going to put it in the right corner because that's where it usually is in Five Nights at Freddy's. And there it is. Now we're going to take this here, this little plus looking thing. And we're going to drag it down to that corner because that's where it's going to anchor. And when it scales differently, it will stay in that corner. Now for the scaling, you're going to want to go to Canvas. Canvas Scaler. And where it says console pixel si constant pixel size. Hit scale with screen size. This is so it stays the well, it stays the same size relative to the screen. Now, if we go into play mode, you'll see we have that there that shows which camera we are clicking on. So one, two, three, four does the same thing. Only there's that thing in the corner. That's really it. That's all there is to making a Five Nights at Freddy's clone like everyone else does. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and if you did, be sure to leave a like, and if you want to keep up to date on my latest content, hit the subscribe button down below. If there are any fun games you want me to play, or if you want to learn anything about making your own games, leave it in the comments down below, or check out my social medias. I have a Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr, or just check those out if you want to have a chat. Be sure to check out the last episode where we played Five Nights at Freddy's, and I got scared after the cameras were turned off because I did not get jump scared on my video, sadly, because I played the first night and ran out of time and blah, 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 excuses, but whatever. Go ahead and check that out if you want to. And since there's nothing else to say, I'll see all you guys in the next video. See you later and happy developing.